Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use dashboard widgets on your desktop. Now when dashboard was released, uh, everybody thought it was a really cool thing and the widgets from it eventually became a part of iOS. But in later releases of Mac OS X, you know, Snow Leopard, etc., it's really gotten tossed by the wayside and nobody talks about it anymore and you don't see much about it. And personally, I think that's because it's very out of the way and you don't even really notice it in your system. Uh, but there's a way that you can have your d dashboard widgets right in your desktop where you can easily access them and it makes dashboard a thousand times more useful. So to do this, you're going to need to use Terminal. Now if you're new to Terminal or something like that, this might be a little bit intimidating, but it's fairly easy and it's not going to wreck your Mac or anything like that. It's, it's just fine. So to get to Terminal, you can just go up to your Spotlight menu and type in Terminal. And Terminal will open. Now what you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to write a string of text and it's just a fairly simple string of text and then you'll have dashboard widgets available on your desktop. So what you have to write is defaults write com dot apple dot dashboard dev mode and dev mode is all one word yes and spaces between everything except for com.apple.dashboard then all you have to do is hit enter and it's going to look like nothing happened you don't see anything you know there's no smoke or you know magical yes you did it nothing like that but it all happens in the background and it's done now if you try what I'll show you next it won't work unless you kill your doc first so you have to type in kill all as one word space and then capital D O C K if you don't have the capital D in doc it won't work and you hit enter docs gonna slide down disappear and then everything's ready now once again it looks like nothing happened but when you try to access dashboard you'll see it open up just like normal uh, very routine it'll take a little while on my system here so you can see dashboard open here now Normally what you would do at this point is just look at your widgets like that and then return back to your desktop when you're done. But what you can do now is if you start dragging a widget and then you press the dashboard key on your keyboard, in my case it's F4, it might be different on your system, and dashboard will go away. Now you have your widget still with you and it's hooked on your mouse and you can let it go. And now you have your widget on your desktop. and you can see it's fully functional. I can put it wherever I want. And if you're new to the Mac and you like the accessibility of the gadgets in Windows 7, uh, you'll probably really like this because it's very similar in the fact that you can have your widgets anywhere on your desktop that you want. So I can put as many widgets as I want on my desktop. I can bring them all over there if I want to uh, very simply, just like this. You can see they all behave just like they're supposed to if I could pick it up <laughs> on your desktop. So it might be nice to have a calculator. Oops, not anymore. Might be, might, might be nice to have a calculator on your dashboard, things like that. And they all are fully functional and you can place them wherever you want. Now this is great and all. Now you have all your widgets here and they're easily accessible. But there is one, in my mind, kind of glaring problem, and that is that the dashboard widgets stay on top of all your other windows. So say I have system preferences open here and I try to use it, those widgets are still stuck on top, annoying me and are in the way. And unfortunately at this time there's nothing you can really do to get around this. I haven't found any tweaks or anything to get rid of this. So unfortunately you're going to have to live with it. Now if you decide this is enough, you don't really like these widgets being on your desktop, you can easily get rid of it as well. First, you're going to have to take all the widgets that are on your desktop, bring them back into Dashboard. So to bring them back into Dashboard, all you have to do is start dragging them, hit the Dashboard key, and bring them back in. And once you're, all your widgets are back into your Dashboard, you need those in there because otherwise they'll stay in there when you disable it. You're going to type the exact same thing as you did before. So defaults write com.apple.dashboard. And then dev mode. I can spell 
And then all you have to do is change it from yes to no. Enter, kill all, die, and you'll be on your way. And now when you go back into dashboard, try as hard as you can, you're not going to be able to bring those widgets onto your desktop. So that's pretty easy, a uh, good way to simply get widgets on your desktop and it becomes a lot more useful that way in my opinion. And that's about all there is to it. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.